ladies and gentlemen this game is called folk hero and i was gonna look it up uh, to be able to tell you what it's about but you know i installed it something like three days ago and i can't remember so let's find out together shall we the villagers learned crafts when fishing and the old man frightened the young with the legends about mythical creatures but peaceful life came to an end when the mysterious island appeared on the horizon. Ooh. The village was invaded by monsters, animals went wild, and the legends became reality. The villagers gave up hope of salvation, but then a hero appeared. Path lay to the island. Led, led to the island. Lay to the island. Okay, let us save the villagers. All right. So we are this uh, tiny little dude down here. We have X. We have right trigger, which you have to hold down to fire. We're consuming energy at the top left there. We have R B. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That has a long cooldown on it. Let's talk to the trainer. Try to practice on a dummy first. Oh, we have a dash as well. Alright, it's going to be hard, isn't it? I can already tell this is going to be a hard game. I don't know why. Okay, find this item first. Alright, so bulletin board. And off to the boat, I suppose. Travel to the island. Yes, let's do it. I feel like this game's going to be hard, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why. I just get the impression it's going to be tough. Alrighty. Can we block? Is that a bear trap? Looks like a bear trap. Oh, we can go in multiple directions, can we? Alright. Then we can go back to... Alright, so we're kind of... Open world zones then, I suppose. What's that on the floor there? Alright. Are we just wandering, are we? We don't seem to have any specific mission. Whoa, okay, that's... That, whoa, that's a spiky bush. Okay. I'm struggling with bats, ladies and gentlemen, already. Bats and spiky bushes. It's going to be a problem. Oh, wait. I have other, other abilities, don't I? They're not very strong. The arrows, I mean. Got him. Okay, we have little collectible orbs that do disappear. Okay, uh oh. We've got a boar here. Bitch. Rune of Slowdown, Rune of Fire, Rune of Electricity. Okay, so this swaps out for our, one of our abilities. Oh no, it doesn't. It just adds an ability to our weapon. Okay. Nice.
Um, yeah, let's just keep going then. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that was a warm-up. Now what do you want? Okay, are we upgrading, are we? Well, we don't have any flags. Flag is the currency. I think this is the first game I've ever played where the currency for upgrades was a flag. But, you know, whatever works. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much, but it was funny. Ooh, the world's different. Drink from the well. That was a heal, was it? An overheal. Very nice. Okay, so we've got a roguelike-y, open world roguelike. Oh, you son of, a, son of a bitch, man. Dude! Oh, God, I don't like this game. I'm not a fan. Really? Oh, two boars. Oh, my God, I'm going to die already. I promise you, I do play video games occasionally. You'd think, you'd think I would know what to do, wouldn't you? You know, being a gamer. Like a souls like, for goodness me. For goodness, for goodness me? Yeah, that too. I don't want to play. Okay, I'm going to focus. Guys, I need to not talk for a second, okay? I'm just not going to talk for a few minutes. Oh my god. Oh, you can get through the trees. Kind of. Sometimes. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't realise. <gasps> oh my goodness me, man. Oh, you can just hold it down, dude. Oh my god, why don't they attack each other? They should do. On purpose. Mate. This game is extremely hard. What do you got here? Kill the enemy with one blow with the first skill. Hmm. Oh, I don't have to select these. These are just things I can do. And they're just achievements. They don't give me any kind of reward. Oh, no, they do. This one gives me a crit chance from combo attacks and item tongs. Alright, anyway, let's carry on. We'll do a few more runs, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we'll be here for about 20 minutes or so. Oh my. Okay, relax. Blood Ruby. I'm gonna go north this time. Sh 
stranger, spare the fetched bird, free me. How? How do I do it? Do I need a key of some sort, do I? Really good to know that I can hold it down. That, that does make a difference. I can play now, I can play properly. Ah. Good. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Dude, I, I killed something. Oh, was that a person? Oh, I killed a villager. Shit. I mean, it didn't really seem to have that much of a consequence, so, you know, maybe not so shit. All right, are we done here, are we? Do we have a map? We do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, things are happening. Okay, let's go this way. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Can't go that way either. Well, how do I see, like, okay, the, the exit there is at the, at the bottom. Yeah, okay, so this was like a, a, a locked off zone then. Interesting. I feel like I wasn't expecting it to be that like that, you know, like certain zones you have to backtrack a bit, but whatever. Okay, that's this works. Okay. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it, guys. I told you I could play video games, didn't I? You didn't believe me, did you? Um, can I... Can I have two runes... On my weapon? Let's see if this does a slowdown and a bleed. It does. No, it doesn't. Did it not? I don't know how to check. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to check my weapons, so that could have been a waste. It didn't seem to have any kind of bleed effect on it. If that's what I picked up, then. Shit.
damage. Okay, we got a key. We need to find three, do we? Burning oil. Burning enemies take ten percent more damage. Oh, have we got some sort of key up there? Do we next to the mini map in the top? Can't see that, can you? Oh yeah, you can over here. So the game recommended when I started to play with a uh, to play with a, uh, a controller. It basically said that the, the the game needs a controller, but it doesn't look like it does. Obviously. So, you know. I mean, it's got auto-aim, so... Anyway, who's over here? Is that a villager, was it? Okay, they seem to have no real... real significance, but we do have a shop down here. Blood Ruby. Increased crit chance against cursed targets. Increased movement uh -huh. speed. Sure. I mean, I don't feel that much faster. A little bit, maybe. Yeah, so I think this is our area here. If we... If we go north here... Oh, you s bastard. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm going to go back to the controller. So this should be like a sword area. What does that mean? Combat? Yeah, I guess so. Oh! Well, we got a lot further that time. So let's see, do we have enough to do any kind of actual levels? Also, it says character selection, so... I'm guessing we're going to be getting more people. So these are just the artifacts that we've found. Okay. And we can upgrade stuff here for a hundred flags. Well, we can't do any of those yet, so maybe after one more run. Yeah, these, uh, I don't know, they seem to give us something, but I'm kind of just not really focused on them right now. Can you move slowly? No. Oh yeah, you can. You can kind of walk. Eternal Candle. Fire deals 10% damage and increase the damage dealt by 50%. That was confusing. Fire deals 10% deals more damage and deal 50% increase in damage dealt. Anyway. Weird, weird language. Maybe you could understand that. I am still habitually pressing like LB to dodge for some reason. Whoa, the shopkeeper disappeared. got a power strike do I? Oh I didn't know that. Rune of bleeding, electricity, slowdown. I feel like the slowdown comes in quite helpful. Okay we have a power attack guys if we hold down. Okay. What's going on here? Help. 
Yeah, kind of cool guys so far. I feel like the game really speaks for itself, you know? Sometimes games do that. They don't really need a lot of commentary, do they? You can see everything that's happening. You know what I mean? You can see how good it looks, how good it feels, the combat itself. Everything's very responsive, I'll tell you that. Like, everything's happening instantly as I press things. Shit. Okay, Hall of Arrow, Hail of Arrows. Sure, why not? Okay, we're going this way. So the map makes sense to me now that I'm aware of that key there, up there in the top left. Blacksmith. No health pickups, you know. Oh, you can't choose both, damn it. Wait, there's another one down here. Yeah. Oh, wow. He he diverted straight into me there. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a little teeny weeny tiny look into Folk folk Hero. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's quite addictive. It's got a bit of challenge to it. Not too much, I guess, once you... Um, when I say challenge, I mean like it, it took me a minute to figure out. There was a bit of a challenge early on for me to figure out how to navigate things. But when you take into account, it's you're kind of playing with like a Souls-like, isometric, uh, roguelike... I suppose, learning the patterns and strategies of the enemies and then getting used to the actual controls. Uh, however, as you can see, it's still a pretty difficult experience. Anyway, I was given a key to this game by the developer. Uh, it's not a sponsored video, but yes, I was given a key to check the game out. There are links down below for you to check out the game yourself. And uh, it's, it's very well received, this game. I think a few people have had a bit of a challenge with it. Uh, in the sense of like the difficulty of it but you know check it out for yourself there's loads of links down below for you to look at click on investigate anyway i'll see you again very soon thank you for watching as always goodbye for now